Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some problems on BEP. That is nothing but break even point. So in our previous lecture, we have gone through totally five pro five formulas, right? Five or four, four formulas. So in this lecture, let us go through one or two problems, guys, so that you'll be having a clear idea. Okay. So the first problem is given in this way: calculate the BEP, break even point in units and sales. So you give in the question itself, you need to calculate in units and sales. I hope everyone remembers the formula of units. That is nothing but fixed cost by sales, my sale selling price minus variable cost. So this, or you can also write it as F by that is nothing but fixed cost by contribution cost. Okay. Similarly, sales can be returned as a fixed cost by PV ratio or fixed cost. Sorry, fixed cost by contribution into sales or fixed cost by sales minus variable into sales. Guys, we will be discussing a one. You will be using one only one form. Like I said, it's really simple. Don't worry. Okay. So in the question, he gave fixed cost equal to nine thousand, selling price is five, and variable price is three. Okay. So then suppose the price reduced to two. So he is selling, saying that the selling price reduced to two a unit. What would be? What would you say about the problem? What will be the final result? Whether it is in profit or in loss? Okay. So we all know the formula in units, guys. That is nothing but fixed cost by selling price per unit minus variable price per unit. So nine thousand by five minus three. So five minus three is two. So we got two by nine thousand is nothing but sorry nine thousand by two is nothing but four five double zero. So we got four five double zero units. Okay. So now we are done with units. So the sales, the sales of the congested or the expanded formula is this, guys. Fixed cost by sales minus contribution into sales. So if you remember this formula. This is nothing but contribution, guys. So contribution by sales is a nothing but PV ratio. So BEP is nothing but fixed cost by PV ratio. So just by remembering this formula, you can derive derive all the formulas, guys. Okay. So fixed cost we already know it is nothing but nine thousand, and we already have the value sales minus variable that is nothing but two nine thousand by two is four thousand five hundred into sales. Sales is five, right? Selling price. So five. So we got twenty two thousand five hundred. Okay, so he also told that the price is reduced to two. So now, in place of variable, sorry, selling price instead of five place two, nine thousand by two minus three. So we got minus nine thousand units. So you are losing nine minus nine thousand units, guys. So that could be an issue, right? So that's loss. So similarly, if you want to calculate in terms of cash, this will be in reverse format. I hope everyone knows that. So nine thousand we got again. So write the same answer, guys. Here we got minus nine thousand right directly. So into two, that is nothing but minus one eight double zero. So you're using this much of cash, guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this problem. So if possible, take a piece of paper and solve it again, guys, so that you'll be having a clear idea. Okay. So now let us go through the second problem. So in this, the number of units sold he gave twenty thousand. Fixed cost is two lakh forty thousand. Variable cost is fifteen, and selling cost is thirty. Okay. He asked us to find the BEP, that is nothing but break-even point in units itself, and marginal safety. And sales to get to the profit to two lakhs. So now the, here he gave that we need to get a profit of two lakhs and verify the result in all the above cases. Okay. So the first thing is unit. I hope everyone knows fixed cost by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Fine. So we will be just solving it. So by substituting it, we got sixteen thousand units are the selling units which we are selling. So what is the margin of safety? Means how many units we are having with us after selling? So initially we are having twenty thousand. So we At the sixteen thousand, we will be in no profit or no loss state. So, what are the left out things? So, that is nothing but your margin of safety. So, margin of safety is equal to number of units sold minus break even point. So, twenty thousand minus sixteen thousand. That is equal to four thousand. So, if you sell those four thousand units, you're gonna get a profit in that way. Fine. Okay. So, I told you that we need a profit of two lakhs, right? So, for that, this is a small formula, guys. So, this formula is. Uh, I hope everyone noticed that. Okay, so sales sales is equals to fixed cost plus a desired profit by PV ratio for any kind of thing he gave. Even if he asks about desired profit or PV ratio or sales or anything, you, you just shuffle the pro formula, guys. That's it. So here in this formula, we know sales is equals to fixed cost. We know two lakhs forty thousand. Desired profit is two lakhs by PV ratio. So here the problem is that we don't know PV ratio. So for PV ratio, we have a formula. I hope everyone knows that it is nothing but Contribution by sales, right? Or okay, just give me a second. I'll be checking it again. Okay, PV ratio contribution by sales. What I told was correct. Contribution by sales. So here we are not having any contribution value. So it is nothing but sales. That is nothing but selling price minus variable pi price by 
selling price. So 30 minus 15 by 30. So we got 1 by 2. So now substitute PB, PV ratio as 1 by 2. So in numerator we will be multiplying by 2. So at the end you will be getting this result. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture we will be going through the next one more problem guys. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.